Okay, we are going to show you a visually evoked potential experiment and we are using for that G recorder. It's running here together with the G Heim V64 channels. And here we have Sanas with a 64 channels Carabeo cap. And in front of her is a screen which is used to show the experimental paradigm. And especially nice is that we have this little icon here that we can start up without MATLAB and then we can select a paradigm where we show black and white and color images and then we just click on the start paradigm block okay so the person is getting ready and when there is a black image then we are just observing it and when we see a colorful image then we should actually count how fa as fast as possible how many times it's showing up this is producing a visually evoked potential, a so-called P300 response. And we can look here on G recorder. So on the left hand side we can see the 64 channel EEG data. And on the right hand side we have already the targets with the topographic information where the electrodes are located. So here's for example CZ, the vertex electrode. And here we can see that we already got 16 target stimuli. It's counting up to 17. And with every colorful image, the evoke potential gets better and better. So here on the paradigm screen, you can see two photo detectors. So one is registering the target stimuli and the other one the non-target. And whenever the image blinks, we generate a trigger signal, which is sent to the G HIMP. And it's producing in G recorder this vertical trigger line. So whenever the image blinks, it generates a trigger signal in green color here for the non-targets and the blue color for the targets. And G recorder is calculating the evoke potentials in real time. And here we have the topographic view for the targets. And if we click, for example, on POZ on the visual cortex, then you can already see a very nice P300 response. So here's the time point when the image appears. And about 300 milliseconds later, we see the nice P300 response. And if we look to the non-targets, then we can see that the P300 response is missing for all the black and white images. And we can double click again to get the topographic view of all the non-targets. And if we go back to the targets, we can actually do the same. And here, especially on the visual cortex, we see large amplitudes for the P300 response. In this case, it's, for example, six microvolts big. 